chimps are quick to come back and play, so they must be enjoying themselves. I feel it's time to try the touchscreen. If they can learn to use this, then they'll have a way to make a choice when we show them video images. So instead of a ball, we have this red circle that she can touch. It makes a click noise, just like the clicker that the keepers use, and she knows she's doing the right thing. This is the toughest screen around. But chimps are five times stronger than humans, so even that's not tough enough. So Betsy is using a sheet of strong perspex with holes big enough for the chimps to reach their fingers through, but not to punch the screen. So we've got the computer game and a protected screen. All we need are the chimps. I'm finally going to see if the chimps can understand the touch screen. In my dream, Cindy will show them all how to do it. All Cindy has to do is touch the red dot, just as she's done so well with the colored balls, but she seems to be struggling. Yeah, there's far too much variability there. And maybe she's not seeing the red is the big difference. So it looks like she's just kind of guessing where that red spot is. She's doing it, but there's a lot of guessing involved. We're seeing her touch a lot of different places before she'll hit the red target. I don't understand this. Cindy was always so quick to figure out the games. It's like she can't equate the red dots on the screen with the handheld balls in previous games. But I've got an idea. Maybe, if I put the red dot in a photo of a hand, she'll see the connection. Will Cindy understand that the image on screen represents a hand? She gets it almost right away. She does seem to realize that she's seeing a hand, and this game is the same as the old ones, so she understands what the video images mean. Finally. Look at that. So she knows exactly where to touch. And it doesn't take long for the other chimps to understand this game. 